हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स बालकृष्ण सर नाउ लर्न क्रेट इन चैप्टर वन रियल नंबर सी बेस सिंबल्स के एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट थ्री प्रूव दैट रूट फाइव इज इेशनल नंबर के हाउ यू कैन प्रूव बाय यूजिंग कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन मेथड के व्हाट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन मेथड स्टेक वन स्टेटमेंट इज ए करेक्ट दैन प्रूव दैट इट इज ए रॉन्ग के दट मेथड इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन मेथड यर वाट इज द स्टेटमेंट हियर Prove that root five is a rational number. So now take that. Let us take root five is a rational number. And finally, we can prove that. We can show that it is a it is a it is not a rational. It is a irrational number. Okay. How we can prove? What is called irrational number? A number cannot be write in the form of p by q form. That number is called irrational number. Here we know that root five value. Here how much one. Here root five value is how much? Two point two three six and so on. How we can get by using the division method? We can get the root five value. Okay, so it is a irrational number. But they ask that prove that by using the theorem. Okay, so theorem wise, we can prove that root five is irrational number. Okay, here. <coughs> Let us take root five is a. Rational number. Rational number means what? A number can be write in the form of p by q, where q is not equal zero. P and q are co-primes. Okay. So here that is root five is equal a by b. B is not equal zero. A comma b are co-primes. Co-primes means The HCF of any two numbers is one. HCF means what? Highest common factor. Okay, if we take any two number, their HCF is one. The numbers are called co-primes. So here yeah, root five is equal a by b. Here a and b are both are co-primes. That means there is no common factor between a and b. Okay, one is the common factor. One is the common factor of any numbers. Okay, so here we take that root five is equal a by b, where a and b are co-primes. B is not equal to zero. So in left side root five, how we can, how, uh, how can cancel the square root? Okay, how here square root means the exponent form is one by two. Okay, so here square root we can remove by by square on both sides. So here square on both sides, LHS and RHS. So here that is root five whole square is equal a by b whole square. Root five. How do you get root five? Square root five. Okay. How do you get that? Square root means what? The exponent form one by two. So that is your five power one by two whole square is equal a by b whole square. You can write as a square by b square. Here you can use the last of exponent x by y whole power m is equal x power m by y power m. In left side, it is in the form of a power m whole power m. Okay. A for m all for n is equal a for m into n. So that is here. Five for one by two into two is equal a square by b square. Two two cancel. Here five is equal a square by b square. B square divided. B square comes to another than multiple. Okay, five into b square is equal a square. So here observe this. Equation a square is equal five into b square. That means a square is a multiple of five. Okay, when a square is a multiple of five, then a is also multiple of five. So here a square is a multiple of five. <coughs> a is also multiple of five. So multiples is nothing but divisible. Okay, so here that is. A is equal five m. A is equal five m. Here five is a factor of a. So a is equal five m. A is a multiple of five, or five is a divisor of a. Divisor nothing but factor. Okay. So here the a value we can substitute in equation one. A value we can substitute in equation one. Okay. So that is a a value substitute. In equation one, so here a is equal five m. 
we can substitute in equation 1 that is equal 5 is equal a square by b square so this a value can substitute in equation 1 so 5 is equal 5m whole square by b square so b square divide comes to happen into that is 5b square is equal 5m whole square so it is in the form of x into y whole power m that is equal x power m into y power m so here you can write as 5 square into m square so 5b square is 5 square 25 m square so find multiple the multiple is going to start up and divide b square is equal 25 m square by 5 5 1 ja 5 5 ja b square is equal 5 m square here the b square is multiples of 5 b square is multiples of 5 then b is also multiples of 5 b is also multiples of 5 so that is b is equal 5m 5m means what 5 into m that is it is a multiple of 5 so here 5 is a multiple is nothing but divisible so 5 is a factor of b factor of b so here 5 is a common factor 5 is a common factor of a and b so therefore our assumption is wrong why we are wrong because we take that root 5 is a rational number and their common factor is 1 okay but here the common factor is how much 5 so our assumption is wrong assumption is wrong so therefore root 5 is irrational so therefore hence proof Therefore, ends prove. Prove that 3 plus 2 into root 5 is irrational. So, here, how we can prove by using contradiction method? So, prove. Let us take 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. So that is 3 plus 2 root 5 is equal a by b. b is not equal to 0. a, b are co primes. Are integers we take here? Anything? Okay. So that is here. S3 is going to start up and minus 2 root 5 is equal a by b minus 3. Okay, 3 we can add as 3 by 1. 2 root 5 is equal a into 1 a minus 3 into b 3b by b. 2 multiple, the multiple is going to start up and divide. So root 3 is equal a minus 3b by b by 2. Okay, here it is a denominator, it is a denominator. So we have to can write as root 3 is equal a minus 3b by b by 2 by 1. So the denominator in fraction is become reciprocal. So that is here a minus 3b by b. 2 by 1 is become 1 by 2. So that is equal. Here the fractions are multiple. Denominator multiple by denominator multiple. So a minus 3b into 1. a minus 3b by b into 2b. b into 2. That is 2b. Here we observe in this equation. The left side is root 3. Right side is in the form of p by q. So it is a rational. It is a irrational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Okay. Root 3. Here. Here, root 3 is is in p by q form. But, we know that we know that root 3 is irrational number. Irrational number. So, therefore, our assumption is wrong. Assumption is wrong. So, therefore, 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational number. Irrational number. So, therefore, hence, so.
prove that the following are irrational. So you have to given that one by root two. So here, let us take by using contradiction method, we can prove that it is a irrational number. Let us take one by root two is rational number. Is rational number that is one by root two is equal a by b. B is not equal to zero. A, B are integers. A, B are integers. So here one by root two is equal a by b. So root two divided it is going to turn out to be multiple. One is equal to a by b into root two. Here this a by b has multiple. This multiple comes out to be multiple and divided. So that is here one by a by b is equal to root two. So the denominator has fraction. It is become reciprocal. So one by a by b we can write as one into b by a is equal to root two. So one into b by a b by a is equal to root two. So here root two in the form of p by q. So but we know that root two is irrational number. So here root two is rational, but we know that. Root two is irrational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. So, therefore, one by root two is irrational. Seven root five. So here, let us say seven root five is rational number. Seven root five is rational number, so that is here. Seven root five is equal to a by b. B is not equal to zero. A b are belongs to integers. Okay, here seven root five. Seven is here multiple. This multiple is going to turn out to be divided. Root five is equal to a by b by seven. Seven we can write it is a numerator. It is a denominator. Seven we can write as seven by one. So the denominator of fraction it is become reciprocal. So root five is equal a by b into one by seven. So here root five is equal a into one a b into seven seven b. Here root five is rational, but we know that root five is Irrational number. Irrational. So our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. Therefore, seven root five is irrational number. Therefore, hence true. Six plus root two. Yeah. Let us take six plus root two is rational number. Is rational number six plus root two is equal to a by b. B is not equal to zero. A comma b is integers. Okay. So here yeah. plus six is going to turn out to be minus. So root two is equal a by b minus six. Six minus six we can add as six by one. So root two is equal a into one a six into b six b by b into one b. So here root two is rational. We know that, but we know that. Root two is irrational. Therefore, our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. So, therefore, six plus root two is irrational number. Therefore, hence true. 
therefore hence slope.